Hey, want to do something awesome? Want to make interactions for your stream using the best bot on the market to do stuff like this? Where it displays and updates your viewer's avatar automatically and so much more? Welcome streamer.bot to your stream kit. My name is Mathman and this is Content Delta. Honestly, I have been playing with streamer.bot for a month or so now, and can I tell you something seriously awesome? If you really wanted to, you could eliminate all other bots from your channel, including stream elements or streamlabs. How? Well, streamer.bot can do so many things that it's best to show you in practice. So what we're going to do is make the redemption that uses the video that you saw just now, and I'm going to show you exactly how to install streamer.bot. But to do that, we first need to grab some prerequisites. And don't forget that I stream every Wednesday, Saturday, and Sunday over on twitch.tv forward slash mathmanyu, where you can ask any of your questions live on stream and I will try to answer them. If I can't, there's always the Content Delta Discord in the description down below where you can ask any questions and there's a whole community ready for you. Now, before we install streamer.bot, we first have to install one very important thing because streamer.bot doesn't work without it. And that is the OBS WebSocket plugin. A quick side note, if you are watching this from the future and you have OBS version 28 or higher, then OBS WebSocket is automatically built into your system so you don't have to do this step for everyone else simply follow the link in the description below click go to download on the top right and scroll down until you get to the assets depending on your system you just need to pick the right installer and get obs websocket installed if you are using windows the easiest way to do it is simply using the installer but you can use the manual copy and paste method as well to do this open the folder your obs is in and drag the zip file in there right click and select extract here and that should do it on this end. Now go to the doobly-doo below to click the second link to join the Discord. Not only do you get access to an amazing community and myself that try to help you become a better streamer, I've also made the video file that you are going to need to make the first redemption in a little bit available for free in there. Once you've done that, it's time to get streamer.bot and set it up. Go to their website streamer.bot or follow the link down below to download the application. Extract it somewhere where you can easily access it and in the folder you just extracted, open streamer.bot. There we go, you're done. All installed. Well, almost. First, we are going into OBS and in the menu bar, we go to the tools and open the WebSocket server settings. Then in streamer.bot, go to the OBS tab in the menu and add a host. You can name it whatever you wish and the rest of the information should be pre-filled. However, you may need to change your port and add your password if you've set up authentication during your OBS WebSocket installation. Lastly, we're gonna tick both auto connect and reconnect and disconnect and OBS is now connected to your streamer.bot. We're gonna do the same for Twitch. So click the settings tab and head to the Twitch accounts menu. Here you can add your account and the name bot account so that streamer.bot bot can access your api details and send messages in your name similarly if you're using stream elements or stream labs then go into the appropriate tab and add that account as well so it can track tips and in the case of stream labs merch purchases though you can just let these alerts come through sl or se if you prefer now go to the events tab and get ready to be amazed at the sort of things that streamer.bot can react to. By now, we expect that every bot can react to follows, cheers, subs, and stuff like that. But streamer.bot can check for timeouts, bans, hype trains, and even hosts. Yes, that includes offline hosts, which some bots like stream elements can no longer do. These triggers all go automatically, so once you've set them up, you never have to touch them again. And if you don't want triggers to go automatically, then you still have a load of options. Hotkeys, chat commands, and channel point redemptions all are fairly self-explanatory. Though, if you do want streamer.bot to have control of your channel point redemptions, then you need to delete them from Twitch and remake them in streamer.bot. So if you do have a first redemption on Twitch and want to follow along as we make the new one, you have to rename it or remove it from Twitch and remake it in streamer.bot in just a second. A thing you might not expect is that you can even give commands with your voice. I've had a play with this and while it struggles with some accents, it's actually fairly accurate. Plus, you can adjust the accuracy needed by changing the confidence threshold. But these are just the triggers. To actually make something happen, we need to get some action in here. No, 
I mean it. We need an action in here. To do this, we head into the actions tab and right click on the actions box to add an action. Give it a name, sort it into a group, and then we can add some sub actions in the right panel. An action on the left is the complete set of sub actions on the right that need to happen for your trigger to complete. Honestly, I could add 30 minutes onto this video just going through every single action that StreamerBot can do and how it interacts with other things, but that is not going to help anyone. Instead, I'm just going to tell you the important bit, which is that Streamer bot can do practically anything and if it can't as long as you know c sharp you can still make it do that thing what i thought would be way more fun is actually showing you how i make my first redemption which uses some of the most important features I think streamer.bot has compared to other bots on the market. Don't forget to get that video if you do want to follow along. You can also get a lot of tips there. We have experts on OBS streaming, how to host charity streams or do events, all that sort of stuff. Come join in, always fun. And secondly, if you are enjoying this video or it's in any way helpful, go downstairs, click that like button, subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything and helps us a ton. And if you don't want to miss any of our future videos, then make sure to also ring that notification bell while you're down there. Okay, let's go back into OBS because that's where we're going to start. Make a new scene and call it something recognizable, like first. Then we're going to add two sources. First, we are going to add a browser source, which we size to 300 by 300. And for the rest, we leave it as it is. We don't even need to change the source itself. Streamer.bot will do that for us. What we do need to do is go into the source we just created and add a filter because we want our browser source to be a nice circle. Simply add an image mask filter and set the type to alpha mask alpha channel. As the source, pick the circle mask that came with the video file and you should immediately see that it has become a circle. Click close and add a media source and find the first video you just downloaded. Make sure to take the local file, restart playback and show nothing boxes and then click OK. If you've done it right, then it will immediately start playing the video. Don't forget to resize the image so it fits neatly in the middle of the video file and then click the locks to make sure they stay in place. After you've done this, make sure to add a scene source to all the scenes you want the redemption to display on and add the first scene. In these scenes, make sure to disable the visibility of the source. It will soon become clear why. Now we move back to streamer.bot. In the actions tab, add an action and name it so you can easily find it again. Then in the sub actions, right click and add the get user info for target action from the Twitch menu and click OK in the box that pops up. Then add another action. From the OBS menu, add a set browser source URL action and browse to your first scene and choose the avatar browser. For the URL, set it to exactly the string that's on screen right now. I've also left it in the description down below so you can copy and paste it. These actions retrieve the avatar from the Twitch API and set your browser source to display it. I had never expected to be able to do something like this. And after I figured it out, I was hit by idea after idea of how I could use this on my stream. It just shows how well organized the developers of streamer.bot really are. Now that the redemption is done, we need to be able to show it on your scene. So go ahead and add another sub action from the OBS tab, a set source visibility state this time, and choose the, and this is going to sound complicated, scene source for the redemption in the main scene you just added. Follow along on screen. Now all that remains is adding a delay of 10 and a half seconds. Remember, bots usually work in milliseconds, so we have to set this to 10,500 and then add another set source visibility state sub action, this time to hide the scene source. Lastly, we need to make a channel point reward right click the tab and add a reward name it first or something similar and set the cost i suggest setting it to one point and to make sure that only one person can claim it set the max per stream to one lastly we need to tell the redemption to do the action we've just set up so add that and click ok and that's it we're done now your viewers can show their avatar on your stream when they get there first this redemption has actually helped me get people in the stream before I even start and chat amongst themselves because they want to get that official first. How are you going to use this absolute workhorse of a bot? Let me know in the comments below and while you're down there, if you found this helpful or entertaining, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and if you want to stay up to date to everything that we do, make sure to ring that notification bell. Did you know you can also integrate voice mod into your redemptions? If you want to see how I did that using Touch Portal, I have a video for you right here, but it works exactly the same in streamer.bot. And as always, stream better, stream smart.